Hey friends, Pastor Julie here. I am coming to you from my car. Not because it's kind of the trendy thing to do um, or it's the only place that I can find peace and quiet, but because I want to tell you how much I love road trips. There are few things in life that I find as liberating as a good road trip. I love everything about them from the conversations that I can have with the people I'm traveling with, to the snacks, to the ever-changing landscape outside of my window. I love them all. There's one thing that my family has grown fond of and that I'm kind of known for, and that is a good road trip playlist. I love music, and so I love putting together different songs that we can just play on repeat um, as we travel. And I love it because these songs aren't just entertainment for that moment or for that trip. These songs become the soundtrack that our memories play to. As my family reminisces about the places we've been and the things we've seen, these are the songs that are playing in our minds as we, as we recall all of these things. Well, the Bible gives us a sort of road trip playlist in the Psalms. Psalms 120 through 134 are known as the Songs of Ascent, and these were songs that the Jews would have sang as they traveled um, through the hills and up the mountains on their way to Jerusalem annually for the Jewish festivals. And these songs provide such a great um, framework for us, um, encouraging us to worship um, at all times. They are communicating deep biblical truths, very unlike my road trip playlist songs. They're communicating um, truths about God, truths about the people singing them. They're communicating about the world that, that the singers are living in and the world that we live in today. So today I have been focusing on Psalm 121, one of these songs of ascents, and it says, I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. The psalmist is telling us of his great confidence that he has in God's watchful care. I don't know if you realize, but in those short eight verses, the word watch was repeated many times. And this watchful care that God has isn't just a passive observation. It's not that God is sitting somewhere in the stadium of our life, observing what's going on. It's not even that God is in the front row, maybe even in the splash zone where maybe he will be affected by what's going on. He might experience some of the things that we're experiencing. That's not how God interacts with us. That's not his watchful care. His watchful care gets in the tank. God is there with us, always watchfully caring for our every need. In fact, verse five is one of, it's one of my favorite um, images of God as this guardian. It says, the Lord is your shade at your right hand. And this comes from this idea that in ancient times, soldiers would carry their shields in their left hand, leaving the right side of their body exposed and vulnerable to attack. And so they would seek out a friend or an ally that would line up at their right hand and hold their shield in their left hand. And that overlapping would guard the soldier on that right hand side. And the psalmist is telling us that God is that friend who stands at our right hand, guarding and protecting us from any potential threat of danger. Friends, we all have things, these pain points in life. And when you come upon one of these pain points, I just want to encourage you, stop and examine what's going on, okay? What is this that's causing me this pain, this discomfort? And what am I going to? What am I seeking for my help? Am I keeping my eyes fixed on the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth, who is the guardian of my life, who provides watchful care to me at all times, who never dozes off, let alone falls into a deep sleep? Or am I looking to other things, Netflix, 
that will just numb me for a little while, a bottle of wine that might give me some immediate relief but doesn't cure me, it doesn't heal my heart, it doesn't really tend to my deep woundings. Guys, only God can do that. So I encourage you today, look to the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth, who keeps watchful care over you. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I can't wait to connect with you soon.